and you're very welcome to this, our third video in our series on market failure for IB economics. And in this video, we're going to look at what externalities are. We're going to look at examples of externalities, the difference between positive and negative externalities and examples of positive and negative externalities. So let's think about what externalities are. So when someone consumes a good um they go, they do it because they get some benefit from it, okay? And when a firm producer sells a good, it therefore has a cost. So this is linking back to our last uh, class, our last video, where we looked at the idea of uh, marginal benefit and marginal cost. So consumer gets a benefit, producer has a cost. Sometimes these benefits or costs spill over onto other consumers or producers who have nothing to do with the consumption or the production of that good, but are therefore intrinsically involved in it because they have some sort of spillover effect. We talk about these other consumers or producers as third parties, uh, and this is what we refer to as an externality. So when I produce a good, as I went, when I as a consumer consume a good, it might be a case that other people around me have to suffer or enjoy a part of that as a result. An example of that that we uh, often look at would be the what we call a lynx effect. So, you know, if I spray myself full of really nice smelling lynx, then the people around me get to enjoy that lovely smell of lynx. Hence why there's the whole the lynx effect in the ads and what. No, not. So, what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video now and see if you can think of any examples of other externalities, either production or consumption externalities. When you're ready, press pause and continue on to play even. Press play and continue on with the video. So let's look at some examples of externalities. So pollution would be an example of a negative externality. So for example, air pollution from cars cause poor health for pedestrians. Okay, so if I'm out for a walk, um, car drives by me, I breathe in that poor air. I'm not driving the car, I didn't produce the car, I'm not getting to enjoy the benefits of using the car, but I get the pollution from it. Another example would be water pollution from factories that harm the plants and animals and restrict human activities on the water. I may not be uh, consuming the products that are produced in that factory, nor am I the factory producing that, but I do suffer from the uh, pollution that it creates. For example, a beekeeper who keeps bees for honey is a positive externality because the activity that causes the pollination of surrounding crops increases their value. There you go. So our official definition of an externality and our keyword for this video is an externality occurs when the actions of consumers or producers result in negative or positive side effects on others or third parties who are not part of these actions and whose interests are not taken in consideration. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video now and have a quick think about of a definition of a positive externality and a negative externality. When you have them thought of, press play and continue on with the video. So, a positive externality then, well it's an externality that's positive. So it's a type of externality where the side effects on third parties are positive or beneficial to them. Whereas negative externalities are the opposite. These are a type of externality where the side effects to the third parties are negative or harmful to them. So, what I want you to do is I want you to think now of any examples of positive externalities. Pause the video now, have a jot down a few, and when you're ready, press play to continue on. So some examples of positive externalities is when you consume education, for example, you therefore get a private benefit because you are now more knowledgeable. But society also benefits from this as they're able to educate others as a result of, as, because you're now able to educate others with this new knowledge that you've had. Or the farmer who grows apple trees benefits a beekeeper as their bees will be able to pollinate and produce more honey. Bit of a honey theme to this video today and if you walk to work or school it will reduce the pollution benefiting the environment and by extension society as you as you benefit from this exercise and society benefits as you're not polluting the environment around you now folks let's think about negative externalities can you think of any examples of negative externalities pause the video jot them down and when you're ready press play to continue on so negative externalities, so for example, passive smoking. That's when a person who inhales the smoke of a smoker. So if cigarette smokers are enjoying their cigarette, uh, then uh, the people around them who do not smoke would have to smell that god-awful smell of their cigarette. Um, and they are receiving, therefore, some of the negative health effects of smoking. Another example would be traffic congestion. If there's too many drivers using the road at once, it means they can incur longer commutes, causing frustration to them and causing further air pollution, which negatively affects pedestrians and cyclists all around them. Aww. 
And of course, noise pollution from a nightclub or an outdoor concert can be disruptive to the local residents that aren't getting to enjoy, uh, to attend and enjoy that concert. So folks, we now know what an externality is. We've looked at examples of externalities in general. We've also looked at positive, negative externalities and examples of them both. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like. And of course, please subscribe to the channel for more wonderfully entertaining videos like this. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Bye now.